Hello? Oh, big mama. Oh, shit. <laughs> he was right there. Okay, we got three of them. Let's get them grouped up here. Hold still, Edgar. When all else fails, bring out the auto shotgun. When you can't aim for shit, bring out the auto shotgun. Welcome back, everybody, to 7 Days to Die on Alpha 19 Build 180. They just came out with Build 180 a couple of days ago for me. Um, just a few minor changes with Build 180. They changed the Campfire and Forge tools to have small icons to show that they belong to a workstation. Um, ammo drops are less abundant in the early game, but blunderbuss ammo and iron arrows are more common. Which makes sense, uh, because in the early game, you know, here in Alpha 19... You loot a shitload of ammo, but you have no guns to shoot it with. So it is actually more useful to get iron arrows and blunderbuss ammo. Uh, more of that and less like, you know, 7.62s in the very early game. Uh, so that's a good change. Uh, they place the Red Mesa and the Hospital POIs in pre-gen 1, which is what we're on. However, we probably won't see those because most likely you would have to start over. Maybe not, though. I don't know. If in, a, in a place on the map that hasn't been opened up yet, it could still probably spawn, would be my guess, but I don't know that for sure. Um, and then, um, let's see, the tack rifle can no longer shoot before it's on screen. Well, <laughs> I didn't know it could before, and then a couple other fairly, you know, minor changes. So, okay, cool. So that shouldn't affect our gameplay to speak of, as far as I know. Um, speaking of gameplay, too, and, you know, experimental... Um, I'm, it is not my intention at this point, anyways, to do, you know, to, to move to a better base. We had originally talked about doing that, but what I don't want to do is go to all the trouble and effort to move to a, a better base and then have fun pimps drop, you know, stable. Because when they drop stable, we are starting over. Um, so we're just going to kind of stay in this base, you know, for the rest of this experimental playthrough. At least that's the plan right now. If they drop stable and they say you can continue your experimental and you don't have to start over, we might reconsider at that point, but we'll just have to see how it goes. I kind of would like to, you know, see pre-gen 2 and pre-gen 3 maps, uh, which would be another reason why, you know, we might we might start over anyways, even if we don't have to. So let's see, in this episode, guys, we are going to, uh, I'm going to go down and we're going to do this waterworks, which is back down towards um, Trader Joel's place. And then when we're finished with that, hopefully it will be morning. It should be morning by the time we're done with that. And we'll do the turn-in to him. And, excuse me, we have... Um, and then the turn-in for this one will be back up here for um, our, for Jin, for our Trader Jin. And then we'll just kind of see where we are from there. Um, if I do... You know, the thing is, is, you know, we got to go through 10 quests now in each tier. And I'm not going to keep doing waterworks on camera. I might keep doing them off camera, um, but I'm probably not going to keep doing them on camera. But we'll do like we've done before, you know, since this is our second run through of the waterworks. We'll probably just do, you know, a quick time lapse, you know, music montage thing of that. But after that, any, you know, the third and any runs after this next one for waterworks, we probably won't show on camera. Okay, so I think we're good to go. Let's grab, let's grab, um, I made a chili dog and some tacos. Let's grab the chili dog. We don't need to eat it quite yet, so we'll take it with us and then we'll eat it, you know, maybe right before we get uh, to our destination. And likewise, let's just take that yucca juice and we'll consume that. Uh, we are sporting armored piercing ammo for all of our weapons now, except for, of course, the shotgun. I don't remember if I had, if I had those in the last episode or not. It's been three or four days for me since I recorded the last episode. And so, yeah, I think we're set. We got repair kits. Everything is in good repair. Uh, what's our armor look like? Yeah, it's in pretty good shape. So, yeah, let's take off. Oh, shit. Sounds like she's already 
um, at, on our in our base there. So let's just go take her out. There we go. Okay, let's do a double loot here. Uh, I actually have looted all the uh, the lamp posts here. I did that uh, last time we were in this town, but we didn't uh, double loot the stuff down here. Let's go ahead and eat the corn dog and the yucca. Uh, drink the yucca juice. We'll get everything topped off with that stuff. And uh, head on down. See what's what. Oh, I guess we might as well cut this tree down and get a little bit of wood, right? Go ahead and actually take those. Electric timer relays, okay. Little food action. Nice. Last time we got like 20, I think. Oh, look at that. There's our first sniper rifle. Um, we can actually, or we will actually be able to make a better one of those, um, after I take the next point in Deadeye, uh, which we can do. We just need to wait for the points, because I got perception up to five. Um, just for the hell of it, though, let's do a little comparison here. Ooh. So the, sni the yellow sniper rifle actually does more damage and has a bigger magazine size than the blue one. Okay, well, we're going to give up mod slot, but if it does more damage, what the hell, right? So that means um, I'm going to want this and this, I think. So I think I want to keep the sniper rifle um, silenced. All right, there it is. Check it out. Wait. Um. Oh, I put the wrong thing on there. It's gonna say, "Where's the scope?" That looks badass. It does. It does. Looks like it does take longer for the to the sights to to tighten up on this one though than it did the other one. But that will improve, I think, as we improve our Deadeye skill. Cool. All right. Yeah, so we got our first uh, sniper rifle. Let's go ahead and put that down there and take a look at the good stuff. Okay, there we go. All right, guys, here we go. Let's start this quest and uh, just speed run through it.
Okay, this is what we end up with. <clears throat> decent loot, nothing super great, but hey, it's decent loot. Uh, so I'm going to have to go up to the bike, of course, and uh, drop a few things off to get the rest of this. And then I'll meet you guys at the, the traders uh, with turn-ins, and then we'll go from there. Okay, guys, we are at Trader Joel's. Let's hop on in here and see what we get for our reward. We have great prices. Everything um, on the bottom row, and then <clears throat> all of this stuff is uh, what we're going to sell him. Let's pop those first. You did it. Great job. Oh my goodness. Pepper. Um. You know, this could really come in handy um, if and when we do our stealth build. A purple military helmet is pretty damn nice. This is <clears throat> worth some serious bank. It's got range damage of 87. Um, which is actually better than our the sniper rifle we just switched over to. Plus, it's got both of them have four slots too. Oh my goodness, that's a hard choice. Um, boy. So that does a range damage of 87. This has a default range damage of 82, but it has eight more rounds in the magazine. I think, boy, man, I'll tell you what, I would really like to have this. Absolutely would like to ha have it, but I think we're going to take this because this is going to help us out when we uh, go to our, our stealth build. Um, yeah, I think that's what we're going to do. I know this is more valuable, but I'm not looking at this just from the standpoint of, of the actual money. Um, so yeah, let's take that. Um, okay, let's take a look at your inventory. I'm not going to take any more jobs from him just because I don't want to have to keep running all the way down here. Uh, so let's just sell uh, our stuff to him, first of all. That's not for sale. Oh, I did compare the two blue picks that we got. And um, this is the better one here. So that's the one we're going to keep. Okay, so we made uh, 78.43 coin out of uh, all of that stuff put together. I think we've already looked at his inventory, but let's just double check it real quick. Pretty sure we have. Okay. In fact, I think we actually ended up buying some steel off of him. If I recall correctly. Steel gloves. Yeah. Thanks for shopping. All here. right. Come again. You're welcome. Trader Joel, you're welcome. Whoops. Yeah, that's that's a nice uh that's a nice piece there. We're gonna hang on to that for sure. Um all right guys, I will meet you back in town um at Trader Jenny, and we'll do our turn in with her and then we'll see what the next thing is on the agenda. Dang. Last time we shot a bear, we took his head off in one shot. If you are here to buy another marksman rifle, goodness gracious. In the wasteland. So you guys were telling me in the comments that this steel axe is actually a utility axe and not a a, a um, you know a combat axe and it does look like it has quite a bit more um strength and power than this one does so i mean this is worth a bunch of t bunch of bank for sure if we took that for the money um actually that's worth almost as much yeah let's take the steel axe all right new job from you now um, so I want fetch and clear. Nope. 
I got don't to take some nerve to ask for against. work and then turn down a job. All right, so what's this clear? I would That's love to give you a job. Come on, Fun Fence. You, know you got to give us some more variety on with a at tier four, especially now that we got to do ten of them. What's this one? You know, I always admire okay. a House hard worker. Old Victorian. Okay, we're gonna do that one. This is a clear. Fantastic. I hope to see you soon. And she probably also doesn't have a new inventory since the last time we checked. So yeah, she doesn't. All right. Um. Let's sell... Why didn't I sell these before? I don't know. Let's sell them quick while we still have our stuff. And that's it. I hope you come back and see me sometime. Okay, so let's take these off of here. And we will put them on here. And we have room for one more, one more thing later, too. Excellent. Okay, this we could repair. How much is it worth if we repair it? Yeah, 400 coin, damn near. Might as well sell it. I'm not going to burn another uh, sugar butts just for this, though. Thanks for letting me take care of you. And tell your friends. Tell your friends. Okay, so this place that she wants us to do is right... Oh, yeah, it's right down in our backyard. Awesome. Okay, I'm going to uh, drop off some stuff... And then I'll meet you guys at that quest, and we will do it. All right, guys, here we are. Um, I'm not sure if I've done this place before. Doesn't look familiar. And as such, I'm not really sure where the fat loots would be, but we could probably take a guess. It wants us to enter through here, I guess. Go down into the basement. So that means probably, not necessarily, but probably the fat loots are up above. So let's, uh, yeah, let's just nerd pull up there and see what the deal is. Yeah, there's some nasties in here for sure. Uh, let's see if we can take her out first. Oh, that didn't work so well, did it? <laughs> okay. Kneecap this guy. There we go. You know, on second thought, I I don't recognize this place because there's the fat loot right there. This is not the place I thought it was. Really? Blunderbuss ammo? Come on, guys. Come on. What is this? Oh, that's nice. Switch schematic. Not sure where those Zikaruskis are. Alright, well, let's bust this open. Not here, are you? Take those two things, I guess. And that, we're gonna scrap. Okay, let's do it. This is a clear. grouped up here. Looks like there's only two. Uh, 
Okay, there's probably going to be Zikaruskis in there. Let's do this. Guess not. <laughs> Let's get our magnum back on our toolbar. Okay, that door's locked. Nothing appears to be up there. Hello? We got three Zikaruskis. Alright, let's just put that down. They're all burners. That's the furnace. I'm assuming maybe the bin for the coal here. Ooh, what do we got back here? Hmm. Let's take this down. Little shoddy messiah box. Okay. Okay, so we looked through that window uh, earlier. Huh. Okay. That door's already kind of banged up, isn't it? That's not what I wanted. <clears throat> Kim station, and there's a Zika Ruski behind the wall there. Uh, oh, yeah. I'll take both of those things, actually. Radiator. Don't usually find those as actual loot, because that's usually a salvage item. Hello? Oh, big mama. Oh, shit. <laughs> he was right there. Okay, we got three of them. Let's get them grouped up here. Hold still, Edgar. When all else fails, bring out the auto shotgun. When you can't aim for shit, bring out the auto shotgun. Alright, so we got a dude trying to come in through there. Close that door. Ooh, biker guy. <laughs> Whilst we're here. Okay. 
Okay, looks like that's clear. What? Huh, okay. Got a couple bookshelves in here. We already know that, so we're just gonna eat it. Save ourselves some inventory space. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Do we already know the accessories? If we do, you know what that means. Ha ha ha, we do, yes! Yes, ladies and gentlemen, we have a 4x4 in our very near future. Probably we'll wait till after Horde Night and then, um, you know, steal. We, we've got to find a freaking crucible. Oh, you know what? Some of you guys, 9mm weapons degrade. Nice. Some of you guys were telling me that if I put some points into better barter, I'll get better quality stuff. And I, I always thought the barter was just the the price, but according to what you guys are saying, I'll actually see better loot. So something we need to consider doing at some point here. We already came through here, right? Yeah. Okay. Not going to take that stuff. Not going to take that stuff. So what's the deal with this? What in the hell? It's a, z a zombie closet, but usually those things break with in one hit. Okay, so we've got collapsible floor there. Oh shit! All right, let's get him all grouped up here. Craw <laughs> Crawler! No, don't go down there. We gotta kill you, bud. There you go. Guess that's not a collapsible floor. Okay, what do we got in here? Let's eat this. What are we wearing for boots? I can't remember. We've got purple iron boots on. Yeah, these are going to be better. Uh, those are probably worth hanging on to to sell, though. And we got a new level. Okay. Um, I probably will definitely consider putting some points into... Better barter, if in fact we do get better loot as a part of that process. But right now, I want to... What day is it? It's 39, so 42 is Horde Night. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and beef up Demo for Horde Night. And then the next thing I'll do is Deadeye. And then Lucky Looter and sal probably Salvage after that, in that order, before I consider doing uh, better barter. So let's do Demolitions Expert now. That way we'll have more power. We'll do more damage on Horde Knight with our grenades. Okay, let's go on up here. Guess we're going this way. Oh shit, that's Kirby. <laughs> I wasn't ready for that. <laughs> Hawaii 5 0, man. What the hell? What a tough son of a bitch. Always has been.
Nothing in here, huh? Not that I can see. Oh, we do have a plug here. <laughs> no thanks. Don't care about that. Oh, wow. Look at that buzzard right there. Another one, too. And a third one. Buzzard boinking. That sounded terrible, didn't it? It's <laughs> not what I meant. Okay, we're around to the other side now. You ever wonder why all these houses in this game have um, concrete and cobblestone pallets in them? Doesn't really make a whole lot of sense to me. Um, denim jeans, skirts, and overalls. All right. Just what I wanted. Not. Up we go. Hello? Hello? Nothing in here. Just a zombie closet, I guess. Ow! I thought the floor was continuing to fall out from underneath me. <laughs> this is pretty shitty loot, man. What the hell? What in the hell? We'll scrap that. That was a, a good old-fashioned Tomb Raider trap there. Okay, we'll read that, because we already know it. Didn't like me killing your brother, did you, Bubba? You are dead, right? Yeah. Hello? Oh, shit! Surprise, he didn't wake up. Nancy. Got something in here, another backpack with probably tin cans in it. Well, we got water, and it's a little better than tin cans. We're actually getting hungry. Are 
Are you dead? Nope. Oh shit. He's dead. You dead? He dead. Anybody in here? Does not appear to be so. There we go. What is over here? Uh, yeah, that's the bathroom we were in. Okay. Nothing in there at all. Okay, getting up to the bad boys here. Let's go ahead and pop another pill so we're at max health here. Get rid of that crap. I'm gonna down another water to compensate for those pills we just took. And I have a feeling like this is not going to be a walk in the park. So let's go really quietly. Got a zombo there, a zombo there. The silence drive. Oh. Biker two. Okay. Since we Oh shit. <laughs> Trying to kill him quietly. Light him up. We got him. Oh, there was a Nurse Nancy there, too. A second Nurse Nancy. All right. Something going to pop out of that closet there? Full auto, baby. <laughs> Full. Oh, where are you going? Where is he going? Over here, man. Return to trader. <laughs> we did it. We did it. Okay, so let's check the fat loots and just kind of look around here. See if there's anything else that we might miss. I think we're good. Okay. Okay. Um, nice, but we got the purple one, so we'll probably just end up selling that. Of course, we will compare them first before we uh, do that for sure. Anything else we can get rid of right at the moment? Glass. 
Uh, we don't really need those. And I don't need three things of paper. We got stacks and stacks and stacks of paper. Okay, let's see what the good stuff is. Compound crossbow. We already got one of those. Shotgun, green shotgun for parts. And then the good stuff. Ooh, blue steel leggings. Very nice. Um, very nice. What are we currently wearing? Uh, let's take a look. We're wearing purple iron. So if we went with the blue, the only thing this gives us is two more crit resist and 50 more durability, but we lose a mod slot. What mod slot, or what mod would we give up if we went that route? Ah, man, I don't really want to give up any of that stuff. Well, I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to hang on to these for now. Um, I'm not going to get rid of them, and we might uh, we might do something with them later. But anyways, guys, I'm going to run back down to the bike and drop off uh, some stuff so I can come back up here and get the rest of this, and... um. That will be it for this episode. So hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you did, please hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment, share out the video, and we'll catch you in the next one. Bye-bye.